Hello, I am Anonymous. I would like to tell you about myself. About my experience with pain. My experience with what the Church of Scientology tries to tell the public is a caustic Nazi practice and institution. My experience with psychiatric therapy and medicine. When I was 11 years old, my father died of acute leukemia. He was nothing short of my hero, and to watch him fall like that was unbearable. His illness and demise came over just two months, and needless to say, it was devastating for not just me, but my mother and siblings. It was beyond the comprehension of an eleven-year-old to understand such loss, to say the least and my family was also so stricken with their own grief, I couldn't really blame them for not being the support I needed at that impressionable age. As I grew to adulthood, my life was plagued with an emptiness and sorrow I could never alleviate. I became, among many other unproductive things, a hopeless alcoholic. Well into my adulthood, as I saw myself spiraling downward, I chose to seek the help of a psychologist. I went to weekly counsel over a period of six years and I can attest to with no hesitation, this woman helped me save my life. I was, among other things, suicidal. She helped me go back to the devastating time in my life and return safely. She taught me how to grieve for my father in a manner deserving of him. She taught me how to grow up and become an adult. And just one of the physical manifestations of this great journey was my quitting drinking, as I have not had a drop since May the 23rd, 2001. I did, after quitting drinking, suffer from a deep and unrelenting depression. Anyone who has quit drinking after years of abuse can attest to this condition. After a year of this depression, I agreed to be under the care of a psychiatrist, as only a medical doctor can prescribe antidepressants. I tried Efixer, Paxil and Zoloft, all with miserable side effects and upon my reaction, was taken off them immediately. I then tried Welbutrin, and to my surprise, the depression clouds parted almost immediately. I took only this drug for three years and then on my own will, chose to end the treatment. I live my life, smelling the roses each day. I own my own successful business. My friends are all blessings. My life is nothing short of wonderful today. My story is only meant to testify as to my experience. I am utterly confused as to the allegations of the Church of Scientology regarding psychiatry and I consider the institution beyond reproach compared to theirs. My therapist was instrumental in helping me save my life. The use of Wellbutrin also helped save my life, and I have nothing but gratitude for the opportunity to be here today and share that with you. Choose for yourselves, but choose freely.